some doors in here. What I needed to do, I didn't want to put individual tracks down here. I want to put one big track. Pretty much, this is so you can see. You see the difference? How the doors overlap each other and one's a little bit smaller. And then I'll do a hole, a hole here and a hole there. So what I did is I put, you can see a, a track right here. And then, make it dizzy. There's a track right up here for it to uh, run against. Try to sit up and get stabbed and bumped in the face with a, with a door. And then, of course, you can have your choice of grains, which I like that one versus that side. But polyurethane on both sides and do a nice job on both sides. And you can choose. And I don't want to put it in that way because somebody might mistake it for a water leak. I'm going to put it in that way. Woohoo! Giga Maggie's kind of thing. Thumbs up. Like a like. A like. that that's what I want you to hit hit that like button that you like my doors and if you don't like them just leave a comment don't hit a thumbs down it hurt my feelings so there's uh, pretty much the inside and then the rest of it like the ceiling I had to kind of Frankenstein it together because it's five feet wide and I've not done a five foot wide one before this is only my third camper to build um, I'm learning as I go. My camper, the one for my wife and I to replace the first white one I did, is going to be. Let's see. It's right over there. You can see it leaning against the wall, just under that Memphis connection sign. So I'm, I'm, you know, not really experimenting, but I'm learning. You know, I learn as I go, and I'm hoping that when I post this stuff on the internet, on YouTube, that it will help somebody with their their build. They're doing stuff. Oh, this board is sitting up here. That was actually the cutout for the air conditioner, which is it. Let's say during the winter time, or winter time you go camping, you could put a hinge on this, hinge it right back in the spot, and then can have to have it open that way, or maybe have it open up this way, and, or just make it into a window but I wasn't going to throw the piece away. And then these are the pieces that I was going to show you in the last video. These are those vent things. And I'm going to drill a hole and mount these right in here. So that, uh, except for, except for with this side too. Uh, let's see. Move the camera a little bit. So they'll go right in here like that. So that won't be a big gaping hole. That'll be there like that, and what I'll do is I'll kind of, instead of having it that way, I'll turn it this way so you can't really see the opening. And then I'll take this on my table saw and I'll cut it to a half inch thickness right here so it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't protrude into this space like this. It would just be flush with that. Um, and then if you wanted to, uh, do something different you can always pull them back out or insulate them or something for the winter time to use but they're going to be in there for so the air conditioner can breathe a little bit at least that's what I'm planning so far I may change my mind okay uh, next thing I'm gonna do is wallpaper this I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna videotape the wallpaper in part of it because I haven't wallpapered in a long time and and uh, I might be prone to say a colorful word here and there, and I'm just not going to subject y'all to that. I'll just get it done, and then can take it apart and talk about that. 
uh, take it apart. Yeah, you know, the wallpaper done and, and uh, let's put the camera back up. We we'll talked about that at that time. Let's see. Looking less and less like a mess. Looking more and more like a camper. Sweet. Thank you for watching.